Did you know one in three American adults has prediabetes? What does that really mean? So prediabetes is when your blood sugar levels are running higher than normal, but they haven't quite reached the type two diabetes numbers. That means that your cells aren't effectively using insulin and blood sugar like they should. Insulin is a hormone produced from the pancreas. After a meal, your pancreas reduces insulin to get that sugar into your cells. When you have prediabetes or insulin resistance, that insulin is unable to get into your cells to open it up to all of that sugar. So all of that extra sugar runs into your blood, leading to elevated glucose levels. You may be at risk for prediabetes if you're over the age of 45, have a family history of type 2 diabetes, if you were a pregnant woman and had gestational diabetes, had elevated blood pressure levels, have elevated cholesterol levels, or are physically inactive. All of these things put you at a greater risk for developing prediabetes and then potentially type 2 diabetes. There are several things you can do to reduce your risk of developing prediabetes. Start eating more fruits and vegetables. They contain a lot of fiber, which are very great for your heart and help to keep you fuller for longer. Start to minimize your portions. Try using measuring spoons and measuring cups when you're eating. Another thing you can do is start to move your body more. Aim for 150 minutes a week of physical activity. That can be walking, biking, yoga, or even strength training. If you're currently a smoker, pursue options to stop. Talk to your provider or join a group. Another thing you can do is be mindful of your beverage intake. Choose water more and try to eliminate sugar-sweetened beverages. They have a lot of calories and have a great impact on blood sugar. If you believe you may be at risk for prediabetes or type 2 diabetes, reach out to your provider today to schedule an appointment.